All right, so today I'm just going to really try to go through quickly how to set up Collider on the iPad um, for use with the analog rhythm. There's a few steps you have to do, so let me try to lay those out quickly. First, you need the uh, camera connector kit for your iPad. I'm going to connect that. Then you connect the other side of the cable directly to the electron analog rhythm. Uh, I'm seeing a warning here. It says cannot use device electron analog rhythm. The connected device is not supported. Just dismiss it. And now I'm going to open up a collider. Okay, so there's a bunch of little notes. Nice thing about the collider app is there's a help menu. And by clicking the help menu in that top right corner, you can see all the required settings for on the hardware for the specific OS. So let's go through those. All right, so the iPad is connected to the analog rhythm via USB. I'm gonna go through some of the menu. Um, so let's go into global system and USB config. Uh, overbridge mode should be off, so I'm gonna change this. Oh, so you have to choose USB MIDI only. Okay, so USB MIDI only, yes, and overbridge mode is off. Cool. Going back. And now, uh, time to go into the MIDI config. Yes. So let's see. Program output should be CC. Okay, so changing that. Received notes should be yes. So let's just make sure that's happening. Received notes is checked. Uh, receive CC R, oh, sorry, NRPN should be yes. That's already checked. Mute destination, internal plus external. Okay, we're good there. Encoder destination should be set to internal plus external. All right, so we should be set up. Okay, so the final thing we need to do here is make sure that the Collider iPad app is connected, right? So I just chose all of these, analog rhythm out, analog rhythm in, both are selected on input, both are selected on output. And then, um, so you can verify by um, sending kits uh, to your analog rhythm and then you'll see like maybe in a couple seconds uh, kit received or something like that. You can do the same thing with the sending patterns. Um, what I found is a quick way to verify that you have some sort of note control is to go to this screen and to tap these guys and you'll you should hear drum sounds each one of these pads should correspond with a pad that lights up over on the analog rhythm. Okay, so that's it for my quick little collider setup video. Thanks.